Pam, welcome to Celtic. How does it feel to, to be here? Thank you so much. Uh, it feels great. It's been uh, only a few days here, but I'm loving it. Yeah. So tell us about how you ended up becoming a Celtic player. It was just uh, the timing with the, with the Spanish league and then I was in Mexico for vacation and you know, just talking and see what, what options were there, were out there for me as a goalkeeper um, to keep playing, you know. Uh, and this just came up as a great opportunity to, to stay in a, in a top league in Europe, you know. It's, I know it's a, it's a league that is getting better each year and, and now it's more teams in it. So I, I hope we can still uh, help improve it, like uh, keep improving it, the league. And uh, I'm just happy to, to have this opportunity and, and to be here and help the team. You've got great experience having played with, you know, Seville, Villarreal, Barcelona, and of course the, the Mexican national team. Is, it, is that experience something that you want to bring to the, to the Celtic squad? Yes, of course. Oh, anything I can, I can do to help, uh, all that experience, but also hard work you know, in every training session and during the games when, when I'm needed. Uh, and just uh, try to, you know, uh, give the, the, the team a good, a good attitude and uh, just uh, know that we're here to work, but also to have fun and to make the team get better and better. The women's game is going through a, a period of change across, across the globe. Um, what was it like for you making your way in, in the sport f from a young age? It was hard. It was uh, completely different than uh, than you would see like in a men's path because in Mexico we didn't have a league many years ago. Uh, the Mexican league, the women's league, is only four or five years old. And uh, when I started playing back in 2000, 2001, uh, all we had was the college teams or you know the high school teams. And then I just got called up for the national team, the U17. So that was my first. Uh, professional team in the national team so it's strange but I just uh, took advantage of it and I, I was very happy to have that opportunity and uh, we spent uh, many years only with the national team as Mexican players you know and after that just trying to to find some place else to you know to to be a professional footballer so then I started uh, playing in the US uh, during the summer breaks then I went to college in Mexico and also played for my college team. And then I got the opportunity to, to come to Europe, to Malaga. And this was the kind of the starting point of my professional career. So I never imagined I could, um, could have ended up here. Uh, many years uh, has gone by, but uh, it's been really fast. Uh, it's been really fun and I've learned a lot. I, I've like had the opportunity to learn and to grow as a player, as an individual player. And right now I just uh, have a lot of energy to, to keep playing, you know. No, normally when we, when we do signing interviews like this, the, the, the player will talk about how much they're looking forward to, to, to their first game, but you've been thrown in the deep end already and already made an appearance with, yeah. the, with, with Celtic. Talk, talk us through what happened against Partick Thistle. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you have to ask uh, <laughs> the staff, but uh, yeah, it's been uh, really, everything's been really fast. I just came here and got my visa paperwork done really fast and we weren't expecting that, uh, but I was ready, you know. I was uh, almost, also... Uh, I, I, I wanted to, to be with the team, you know, so I had my first training session on Saturday and then on Sunday we thought like uh, we just uh, give more uh, training sessions, you know, before being able to play. But then the situation was, uh, uh, I don't know what happened there, but uh, it was what the team needed. So I'm ready for, for anything. Um, how much are you looking forward to working under Fran Alonso? Obviously, there, there won't be a language barrier because obviously you're both from Spanish-speaking countries. I know a lot of the girls sometimes have trouble understanding Fran. You won't have that. He's a very charismatic manager. Yeah, I mean, it's been so easy uh, getting to know him since the start, since our first talks uh, back in Mexico. Uh, and yeah, the, the language, it's going to be helpful that uh, whenever I don't understand something, I can, you know, just ask him in Spanish. But I just am trying to, to uh, you know, to remember all the words 
uh, and then to understand also the accent here. But his accent, I understand it. <laughs> of course. I don't know if you've seen any of, of Celtic's recent success from, from last season, winning two trophies. I mean, the, 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 they had lots of time to celebrate. It was a, it was a, a season that was full of great achievement. So it's a, it's a season to follow. And I know the girls are looking to get better and, and better, um, but, but it's quite a season to, to follow. Yeah, it's, it's good that, that uh, the last season was that successful. Uh, but I think uh, we can't settle. Like we, we need to be looking forward to to achieve more, more and more. Uh, and honestly, the the winning the league and making it to Champions League it's one of the best things and one of our main goals, I think, uh, as a team. And also uh, uh, putting the attention to the cup, you know, because it's it's been done last year, so we need to repeat it. Uh, but basically, just to have the team uh, being stronger every week and just, you know, make ourselves really tough during the games and, and a good team, like a good group. I know you've only just been in Scotland a few days and it's not a country you're, you're familiar with. Celtic, though, as a football club, is that something that has ever been drawn to your attention, either in, in Spain or in, or in Mexico, from any, you know, friends, family, ex-players, anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I've never had like a connection, direct connection with anyone with Celtic, but I've watched the team play in in European uh, tournaments, and of course, I've I've known Celtic for for many years, and it's always been like a, I've always had the impression that it's a it's a very passionate club uh, because of what you see in the games and with the fans and everything. So it's kind of like a, when I first heard about the opportunity, I kind of thought about Sevilla because you know it's uh, comparing them a little bit you know like European clubs uh, in small towns or not so big towns but um, with the, some accomplishments in, in Europe and uh, just the fans are really uh, passionate and Sevilla was uh, the same way so I don't know it, it, it just felt like uh, it would be a good place to be. Well, let's hope you enjoy it here in, in, in Glasgow, in Scotland, and, and here's to a, a great season ahead. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much.